everybody. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. I am going to a Christmas party tonight and I need to get ready. So some of us ladies at church decided to get together and have just a little gathering. We're going to have an activity making Christmas ornaments. I have no idea what we're going to be making. And if it's something that I could do as a, a video, I just might do that. We'll have to see. But the other activity that we're going to do is we're going to play Dirty Santa. So a lot of you are probably going, what the heck is a bunch of church ladies playing Dirty Santa? <laughs> it's not that dirty. It's just kind of mean. Well, it can be, and it's really not that mean. So we're going to play this game with Christmas ornaments. So we are going to bring an ornament that's wrapped. And the way the game goes, let's pretend there's 10 of us. So we all draw a number, 1 through 10, and we put our ornaments, our wrapped ornaments, on a table. And person number one, they go and they pick a, a gift, and they unwrap it, and they show everybody, and they go sit down. Person number two, they get up, and they can either take person number one's ornament, or they can get another one and unwrap it, and then they go sit down. Number three now has the choice of either taking number one or number two's ornament or one on the table. Anyway, it goes through that until you get to number 10. Number 10, you would think that's the best number to get, but it not, it's, it not, it's the second best number. Number 10, they get to choose any of the ornaments that have been unwrapped or the last one that's on the table. Number one, that's the number you want to get because guess what? After 10 decides what they want to do, number one can choose any of the ornaments and trade with them. Because see, they didn't get to have an option. Their only option was just to unwrap one ornament. There is a catcher though. Once an ornament has been stolen, I think it's twice, it is retired. So it cannot be stolen again. So some ornaments may not be available for person number one. Anyway, this is a really fun thing to do. Uh, we have done this for many, many years. In fact, the old church that I was going to, we had done that. I think they did it for over 20 years. It was just something that was always fun to do. Now, after we do the Dirty Santa, we're going to, to have a little snack, which I've got to make some cookies to bring. But before I go into the kitchen and make my cookies, I'm going to make a Christmas ornament and I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how it's done. So I've decided to do one of my guitar string ornaments and I was trying to figure out which ornament I wanted to do because I do quite a few of them. And at first I thought I was going to do something like this, but then I thought, you know what? I live in Louisiana. These are all Louisiana girls. I need to do a Mardi Gras one. So flip this over. I am going to make a Mardi Gras guitar string ornament. Now, as I look through my stash of Fleur de Lis, I don't have any more gold ones left. I do have silver ones left, but something else that's pretty Cajun, I have these crawfish, and then I have an alligator. <laughs> but I think I may just stick with the Fleur de Lis. And I'm going to need to make sure I make this where this charm isn't like bitty in this big ornament. And it's just kind of going to be hidden a little bit. Now, I don't have um, the purple. I've got just a little bit left of the purple, not enough to make this ornament. So instead of the purple garland. I'm going to use these purple beads. So I'm going to do a little bit of beading. And then I've got gold and green garland here. So we have the colors, the Mardi Gras colors. One other thing I don't have a whole lot of, not enough to do this project, is gold wire. But silver wire will be okay. Now the first thing I want to do is get this to the size I want. So I'm going to undo it. By the way, these all my wires that I use in projects, they have been uh, cleaned really well, and I do have a video on my process on that. 
But basically the way you start out is just like tying a shoe and you pull it however big you want it. And I, I want it about this size. I guess that's about right there. So we're gonna keep it there. And then all you need to do, you have these two legs here, you're just going to weave until you run out of string. And I am so happy I was able to end with them really close because that means I don't need a whole lot of wire. If they would have been ending here, that means I would have had to wire half of this. But I only need to wire just a little bit, so that's good. Maybe I do have enough gold wire. Let me check. So I do have enough wire to wire this together. And... So I'm just going to find the center and go to the center here and just start wiring or start wrapping rather. <laughs> all right, I have the ends all wrapped up. I made a bale. And now I'm ready to start putting the garland and the beads on. Oh, and I forgot, I gotta put the fleur de lis on. <laughs> Can't forget the fleur de lis. And I'm just using a separate piece of wire. So I have it hung here and it is a little high, but I am going to be putting the garland down here and it's going to take up a lot of room. So it's going to be fine. Also, I didn't tuck my ends in too well um, because it was kind of difficult to get it around there, but I will be doing some wire work with these and that'll cover that up. Look what I found. I think I may wire these purple beads with some green wire. So I got all the beads on there, got it all wrapped. And now I'm going to start wrapping some gold garlic. Gold garlic? <laughs> Sorry, gold garland. Try to say that three times fast. All right, so I have the gold. By the way, this garland has a wire in it, so it's very easy just to wrap around. Now I've got to do the green. Now all I have to do is put on the hanger part of this.
out already in my flamingo Christmas outfit. And when I got there, we had lots of people participate. We got to make four ornaments, which were pretty easy to do. Except for the stenciling, I didn't do too good of a job on. But this one is okay, I just don't like the seat. Here they all are. It was a lot of fun. The person liked the ornament they got for me. It got stolen a couple times. And this is what I got. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye bye.